As of uh, today, there have been approximately 78 attacks on our on our bases. American troops and military assets in West Asia are being attacked on a regular basis now. In less than two months, there were nearly 80 militant attacks using missiles and drones on U.S. bases, including the U.S. Embassy. Since the Israel-Hamas war started, such attacks happened in the seas, in Syria and in Iraq. My question is simple here. How often do you hear of U.S. assets being targeted at such high frequency with no considerable response from the world's number one military power? Has U.S. become a sitting duck for terror strikes in West Asia? I'm Shivan Janna. Let's get to the point. The US has a total of over 45,000 troops deployed all over West Asia. Most are in Kuwait, Qatar, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. But there are some 2,500 US troops in Iraq and around 900 in eastern Syria. US troops in both these nations have been targeted by militant groups. Iran has loyal militias in both. US recently sent additional military assets to West Asia post the Israel-Hamas war. Aircraft carrier USS Eisenhower arrived in the Red Sea. Then Ohio-class submarine, a nuclear-powered vessel, is present. Ford carrier strike group is positioned in the Mediterranean Sea. The USS Mount Whitney command ship is in eastern Mediterranean Sea. And warships USS Bataan, Carter Hall, Hudner and Carney are ready for battle as well. As per the last release numbers, the US military says that out of the 78 attacks carried out against the US facilities over the past weeks, 37 were in Iraq and 41 were in Syria. US has also been openly warned by the Iran-backed Houthi rebels from Yemen that they would target all ships in Red Sea heading towards Israel, regardless of their nationality. <laughs> Now, here are some of the attacks carried out by the Houthis recently. On November 8th, a US military MQ-9 Reaper drone was shot down off the coast of Yemen and the Houthis proudly shared a video of that as well. Then on December 5th, the Navy destroyer USS Carney shot down three Houthi drones in the Red Sea during ballistic missile attacks on three commercial ships. On 12th of December, a merchant ship sailing in the southern Red Sea was struck by a land-based Houthi cruise missile. U.S. destroyer USS Mason reached to provide assistance. Now, the attacks have been claimed by an umbrella group of Iran-backed Iraqi militants dubbed the Islamic Resistance in Iraq. Their attacks are in retaliation for Washington's backing of Israel and its military presence in Iraq and Syria. and US F-16 fighters subsequently shot down the UAV in self-defense. In response, the US has retaliated with airstrikes three times in Syria since the 17th of October, targeting weapons depots and other facilities linked directly to Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps and the militias. It was a show of strength for the US to have 45,000 troops deployed all over West Asia. But now, it has become a liability as these bases have become sitting ducks for hostile forces as US cannot risk jeopardizing peace in the entire region by retaliating strongly. So what can it do? US has already been receiving massive criticism for backing Israel in its onslaught of Gaza. Any further escalation of tensions in the region will throw US out of favor in West Asia where Russian President Vladimir Putin has already re-embraced his ties with Arab leaders. U.S. was quick to provide military aid to Ukraine and Israel when they were attacked. But when it came to attacks on its own personnel, U.S. has given a lukewarm response. Do you feel U.S. can respond with fierceness? Or is it afraid that a stern military response would ignite a wider war in the region? Let me know in the comments.